guys, it's Lucia. As you can see, I have my hair up today, but this is my makeup routine for winter 2015. The ponytail wasn't really planned, but it kind of just happened and I'm kind of liking it a little bit, so it's just staying for this. I filmed this video kind of as I was talking, so hopefully you guys like that style of video. Yeah, let's just go ahead and show you what I wear on my face. The first step is to prime my face and for that I use a moisturizer and a primer. The moisturizer is the Avene or Aven Light Hydrating Cream with SPF 20 and the primer is the Makeup Forever Step 1, the modifying version. I apply them all over my face. For the primer I mostly do forehead and like T-zone and a bit my cheeks, but that's it. Then we can move on to foundation and the one that I love that I've been using for so long is the Max Factor Facefinity All Day Flawless and I like to blend that in with my Real Techniques sponge. As you can see, I'm like not gentle with my face at all and that's probably why I get so many spots and redness and all that stuff, but I just don't have the patience. While I'm doing this, I guess just let me know if you guys like this type of video Um, every once in a while instead of more edited ones. So that's foundation done. And then moving on to concealer for under my eyes, I use the Dream Lumi Touch from Maybelline. I'm not sure if this is the best or not, probably not, but I do really like it and I do like a triangle like the, And I find that blending this in with my fingers is the best way for it not to cake or crease and stuff. Every single concealer tends to crease under my eyes. So I find that blending it in with my finger is the easiest way and the best to not do that, I guess. On a daily basis, I can't really be bothered with eyeshadow. So I tend to use this concealer, which is the eraser from Maybelline. And I just put that all over my eyelids and blend that in. Yeah, I'm quite lazy for every day, so I don't really do eyeshadow, but I do want to have um, coverage a little bit. And then for spots, I use my Lasting Concealer from Collection, which is um, not looking its best. But like I said, I have a bunch of spots and things, so that's what it's for, to cover stuff. So it's alright if you have stuff to cover up. Also, I sometimes like doing these videos when I have more spots. So you guys actually know what covers what. I feel like if you have flawless skin, I mean, that's amazing. I wish I had it, but it's not that helpful when you're trying to show how much um, foundation or concealer covers stuff up, if you know what I mean. So I guess it's alright for this purpose that I have spots. Let's look at the bright side of things. Again, they're not perfectly covered, but I'm fine with that. I'd rather have spots that show a little bit then have really caked on concealer. Then I just go over everything with my Stay Matte Powder from Rimmel, which is my favorite ever, and just keep buying this, because, I don't know, it's quite cheap, and does the job really well. It's in the shade Transparent, which I think is the most popular one. Do people even buy the other shades? I don't know. Then I take my NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder, and I use the darkest shade for my eyebrows. I usually do this quite close to the mirror, so I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we'll try, we'll try. I don't really do much for my eyebrows, they're quite naturally there, I guess, I don't know. They're usually uneven, but there's just nothing I can do about it, so... Recently, I've been using the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner for my eyeliner on top. Yeah, I have to go in with the little mirror, but there's just no way that I can do this normally. I'm not good at this, it's just not turning out great, but... Well, you're not gonna see it from up close, so it doesn't matter that much. Should I wing it a little bit? Eh, no. Don't feel like it today. Then I go in with my NYX Slide On Pencil, which I've had for forever, and I just do, like, bottom liner, because, I don't know, I just really like all the black around the eye and stuff. And I kind of do it towards just the middle. I don't do it, like, the whole eye. Mascara time, and I use three different mascaras, which is crazy, but I've been using... The Volume Million Lashes So Couture So Black from L'Oreal. Then on top of that, I do the Essence Eye Heart Extreme Volume Mascara and Waterproof. And then for my bottom ones, I do the big eyes on the smaller side. I just feel like I like this L'Oreal one a lot, but it's not waterproof, so I don't like just doing that because my eyes water. I do wear contacts. Eyebrow goes crazy when I do mascaras. Sorry about that. But I never do fake eyelashes. If you're wondering, I think they would annoy me. I've never done them, but I have a feeling they would annoy me. A lot of things annoy me. Yeah, and with my contacts, I just don't feel like it's the most practical thing to be doing. Eyes are done, and I'm moving now into bronzer. I use this one from The Body Shop in the shade number two. I do that quite lightly because, I don't know, I'm quite pale. I don't want to do, like, crazy bronzer contouring because, yeah, I don't feel like 
it will look natural on me and obviously none of this makeup is like super natural but super natural <laughs> I'm so funny I do bring it a little bit down the neck because I feel like that makes it all blend together better for blush I've been loving mocha by MAC I just like it a lot so that's what I do almost every day if not it's usually Melba which is quite similar but a bit more orangey they're like my go-to MAC blushes or blushes overall it's like the only two that I wear I'm not even looking at what I'm doing right now probably should a bit of highlighter here high beam from Benefit I do this very lightly because I don't want to have crazy highlighter just blend it like that can you see that highlight? Can you? Can you? Well, that just uncovered my spot. Okay, we're fixing it, guys. We are fixing it. There we go. I did like to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just do a few like that. And then just found myself, because why not? And last but not least, lips. I love my lipstick, but I've been really liking this one for Urban Decay, which is in the color Rapture, and it's a little bit of a mauvey purple thing. If you guys can see, I do like purple lips, but I don't want to go all bold for every day. So I feel like this one does a great job, and this is kind of the shade that I go for, so I do really recommend these lipsticks if you guys haven't tried them. They're a bit pricey, but do really enjoy them. So that would be the complete look. I wish I just put my hair down after this, but I'm kind of liking the ponytail right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish the video here. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe and all that. And I will see you guys later with another video. Bye!